the giant worms of Mars, NASA reveals stunning images of coolest landscape on Mars at the Red Planet's frozen South Pole. NASA says this amazing image actually shows just how alien the Red Planet can be. Strange structures were spotted at the Red Planet's South Pole. Ultra cold temperature caused CO2 ice to form circular pits and other strange patterns. At first glance, it looks like a series of giant worms. However, NASA says this amazing image actually shows just how alien the red planet can be. The amazing image shows the coldest part of the red planet, where circular pits are created in dry ice to form strange patterns. Many Martian landscapes contain features that are familiar to ones we find on Earth, like river valleys, cliffs, glaciers and volcanoes, NASA said. However, Mars has an exotic side too, with landscapes that are alien to Earthlings. This image shows one of these exotic locales at the South Pole. The polar cap is made from carbon dioxide, dry ice, which does not occur naturally on the Earth. The circular pits are holes in this dry ice layer that expand by a few meters each Martian year. New dry ice is constantly being added to this landscape by freezing directly out of the carbon dioxide atmosphere or falling as snow. Freezing out the atmosphere like this limits how cold the surface can get to the frost point at minus 130 degrees Celsius, minus 200 F. Nowhere on Mars can ever get any colder this, making this this coolest landscape on Earth and Mars combined. Conditions at the poles were revealed further last month with new ultraviolet images giving a stunning glimpse into the planet's atmosphere. The incredible images show clouds forming over giant volcanoes, and include the first images of night glow that can be used to show how winds circulate at high altitudes. The images were taken by the Imaging Ultraviolet Spectrograph UFS, on the Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution Mission MAVEN. Maven obtained hundreds of such images in recent months, giving some of the best high-resolution ultraviolet coverage of Mars ever obtained, said Nick Schneider of the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics at the University of Colorado, Boulder. Schneider is presenting the results at the American Astronomical Society Division for Planetary Sciences meeting in Pasadena, California, which is being held jointly with the European Planetary Science Congress. Dayside ultraviolet imagery from the spacecraft shows how ozone amounts change over the seasons and how afternoon clouds form over giant Martian volcanoes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.